All right, an update. It's dinner time. Everybody's eating. If you wonder, this is how these guys like to eat. They're, they like to be elevated and they don't like to come down to the floor. But um, I'm gonna push this back. See, and they'll run. There you go, Doocy Do. I don't want it to fall off, honey. I got Brimley, Poppy, Tina, Rufus, Lucy Lou. Um, we got Bram, we got Snoop. Okay, then I wanted to update you. I have some food here, which I meant to come out here. Hi, baby, let's go get, have some dinner. No, no, don't run. Let's have some dinner. Come on. Don't run, baby. We'll go in here. Come on. We'll go have some dinner now. Don't be afraid. Poor girl. Don't be afraid. You have some dinner. Come on. See, this is what happens if we get too overcrowded. They get so anxious, nervous, and then they don't want to eat because they like to have their own little spot. So I'm just trying to find a little spot for her where she can be away from everybody else. Come on, girl. You can do it. What do you think? Do you like it? Maybe you're just not a fan of that particular one. Okay, I'm going to get you something different. You just wait. She might run, but... um. So I'm going to bring this up to Taylor. All right, so... Hi, Taylor. She's sleeping. Hi, baby. So I'm bringing you breakfast. Is your dinner? Here you go. And, um... We made the decision, and Chloe got adopted. And I worried about Taylor, but I always want to be really careful um, not to put too many human emotions onto the cats. Uh, Taylor is a very motherly figure, but she is that way towards any little kitten that she sees, and we need her. We need her for that purpose. But for Chloe, um, is it fair to keep her here just because her mother is so anxious? So Chloe has been adopted with Maisie, and they'll become best of friends. And Taylor's going to be okay. Um, selfishly, I wanted to keep them together, but... Um, we have to help other cats. There are so many out there, and so it's the decision we made. So she's eaten, and we have all sorts of babies that need a mother figure, like these little babies. This is Sterling, uh, it's not Sterling, Stanley and Kevin, and little Stevens down below. All right, our little Jolene is doing just fine, but she's not happy. I gotta find where she went. Where are you, Jolene? I think she's, maybe she's sleeping on top of there. I think she's sleeping on top and I don't, I don't want to disrupt her. But we are going to have to try to find a home for Jolene. Sweet little um, Dolly and sweet little Kenny are right there. Here's our poppy. I gotta get Ellie. Maybe Ellie will go up there. I see Ellie on the steps right there. This is how they like to eat a lot. Just kind of, um, I think she's gonna go eat that food, which is what I would like to have happen. And then um, Olympia is locked up because Olympia is starting to show signs of having the cold that we saw with Jolene. I'm noticing some sneezing and I don't like that. So until we know if that's gonna progress into anything, we're gonna just keep her kind of in her own little area. 
In the perfect world, we would have a quarantine room that was just completely sealed off, but it's not a perfect world. <laughs> it's on the radar, but um, that would be the best thing. And then I've got these three littles who are very hungry, so hungry that they were kind of growling at each other over the food. And I said, okay, hold on, don't you jump, don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> no room, hold on. I said, I'm going to give them each their own bowl because they were growling at each other, which is pretty common in barn cats because they don't get a lot of food and they kind of have to fight for food. Sorry about the camera angle. But these are the three little ones. Yes, and they're very cute. And these are the ones that either we're going to need help with fosters or if you just say, I want an adorable little orange kitten, we could set up uh, a situation where we will get them in and get them fixed for you just as soon as we possibly can. And you could just adopt them. I don't know if we're dealing with boys or girls. Are you a little boy or a little girl? Looking at your face, I feel like you're probably a little boy. You've got that little boy look. Let's say hello. I say hello. And also, I would like to remind everybody that we always suggest, um, I think that's a boy. Sorry about, yeah, that's a little boy. Sorry about that. And people are like, really? It's dinner time. You need to do that. <laughs> I think you're a little boy, though. Although I'm terrible at this and I'm often wrong. Hi, yo. I'm going to pick you up. Now, you, this is the run because you're very lightweight compared to this one. Yes, yeah, so you're very lightweight compared to this one. Let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. We always suggest two, at least two. Let me see. Oh, the humanity. Uh, I don't actually. That might be a rare little girl, but if you're watching this <laughs> and you think I'm wrong, <laughs> Also, I maybe should put a warning on this one. And then this little one down here just to eat in a way. Um, I hate to interrupt you, so I'm just going to take a peek this way, okay? <laughs> boy? I think you're a boy. I think you're, you might all, be, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> you are a purring machine. I know that. I think this one's definitely a boy. I think you're definitely a boy. This one I'm not sure on. Are you a girl or a boy? Yeah, I don't know. We're so little. You just love to purr. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Is Jolene? Oh, there's Jolene. Oh, she's sleeping. Hi, Jolene. I feel bad. She's been grumpy and so we've locked her up, but I might let her out for a little bit. She scares the other cats, though, and that's not fair to them. She's been really whopping them. I almost wondered, you know, does she think they did something to her kittens, and that's why she's... And I have to keep everybody safe. Yo, you're pretty adorable. So there's a barn full of more of these kittens, like full. And we need to get them. Um, but we're a mother-daughter team. And we don't move real fast. <laughs> and we're a little overwhelmed. But I will say that what we've said is let's take these three, get them fixed, get them into homes. And as soon as we can do that, we're going to go to that barn and we're going to grab three or four more. And we're just going to keep going until we get them. So... Spay and neuter your cats. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging. Because, oh my gosh. Remy Bear. What's it doing, Bram? What's it doing, big boy? My Remy Bear. I love you so. Yeah, and then we have, let me see. This is this Rufus. Oh, that's Wendell. Wendell's eating. Ellie just loves to block the doorway. <laughs> don't know what it is about her. She loves, and then my wimpy cat's like, my poor Lucy Lou. 
Who's that dear? She says, oh, I'm too afraid. Uh, and Savannah, they say, we're so afraid to go by Ellie. Ellie, we can't have this, darling. Ellie, they want through. Can I please have you move? It's okay, Wendell. Ellie, please. Come on, baby girl. I know. Come on now. Come on. Come on. You just move. Can you scoot? Just a little scoot. Just a little scoot. Oh, you're so stubborn. She says, but I'm an old lady. And I do what I want. <laughs> okay, Lucy, do. Savannah, come on. Come on. You come on and get some food. Come on. You can come. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy, do. You can do it. Lucy is the most timid cat you have ever met. Lucy. You can come. Come on now. Good girl. <laughs> she won't hurt you. Come on. Oh, look, Brimley wants to play. Okay, Brim. Come on, Lucy. You can come. Savannah wants to come. They're so polite. <laughs> They're so polite to each other. Like, oh, can I just get by? Can I just get by you, Lucy? I want some food. And look at, look at Snoop saying, look at all this churu. He's like, what? Look at all this churu. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, everybody. Come on. Let's all take a deep breath. I gotta check in my Bram. <sighs> Brammy, Bram, Bram. It's okay, buddy. He saw those three barn cats come in and he was, he looked at me like, yeah, you did, didn't you? You looked at me like, what are you doing? I know, you said, what in the world, lady? You have got to be kidding me. This is where Bram eats, yeah. Talking to me. All right, okay, let's have dinner.